we have a quick session but you know before i start i'll tell you why i'm very always very excited whenever i have to have a chat with shashi sir because you know in last 7 8 years we have had this trend that everyone wants to see the questions in advance whether it's politicians or even everyone in our industry as well he's the only man brave enough to always tell us we don't i don't want to see the questions ask me whatever you want to ask so i'm actually looking forward to this conversation he's he's not just brave he's also very smart he also knows how to answer and not give the answer that's another reason why he has given me that liberty so that's another art we have to learn from shashi sir today <laughs> so uh, you uh, we have had this wonderful presentation by uh, sam this morning uh, where he said that globally now the digital numbers have gone to almost 77% early this year there were reports that said that uh, digital is almost 50% and you know by end of year it will be exceeding uh, it can uh, Uh, be the main uh, platform and will leave tv behind we are almost we are in october we are in middle of the festive season what are the numbers now have we left television behind has digital already in terms of addicts i presume you mean in dollar yeah, terms yeah. i don't know since i am sitting on stage i also do a job for tv in print i think i must protect their interest i was not listening to mr balsara but i must say i uh, and uh, i must say this uh, that you know i was seeing a presentation from kanta the other day and i don't know if anyone in the room was there in that presentation mr going kapreet going ka was there and two of us were listening to a presentation where my perception was that in uk which is perhaps the most evolved market for digital uh, and this is something which mystery have not been able to solve maybe my age i can't uh, reconcile the numbers or maybe i'm not a traditional media person i've came in from servicing into media whatever the reason so uh, kanta who runs uh, both the digital panel and the uh, tv panel in uk and look uk i said is the most evolved market where people say i don't know 77% but at least 50 plus percent is digital and rest is tv in terms of addicts is what is publicly said and as you know digital cpms are lower than tv cpms what they showed was viewership of tv is still about 70% viewership of digital is 30% i mean the in the cross panel so these numbers i can't reconcile now digital has a very strong performance part and i don't know whether that should be counted when we look at adex in the conventional sense the way it is so it is a classical data thing you know it's like our tv channel saying we are number 115 of them claim we are number 1 because they look at different time cards and time bands you know the same thing here so i'm saying something quaternion i'm not sure uh, what a digital adex is because there's no way to measure or for that matter tv adex there's no clear way to measure but i still believe there's a lot of juice left in television to that extent and so to print so i would not in a round of way we answer your question i'm not sure whether digital is fashionable to say digital is one past but i'm old fashioned so it doesn't matter but uh, we are here to talk about uh, future you know we are we are uh, discussing the agency of future you are the wrong guy to ask about future mr balsara and me lot of the business in the future comes in you know so we the wrong people you know are the young people before the panel before they were given the future no no we 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 want to learn from you what all uh, things we need to do to get our future right uh, you you know measurement you you also you don't know how to measure whether digital or tv which one is uh, doing better uh, a lot of people in our industry are struggling with measurement measurement is a problem and uh, you very bravely are uh, heading bark and mruc so you know there no, been no a lot of so let me explain before you finish your question ba mruc is a very happy job there is no problem there is no measurement there is no irs so it's a very happy job there is no so that's problem. what i wanted to ask you when is the rs irs coming ah there is no problem let me tell you robust those who don't like the numbers you know it's like this one of those when you were in school we used to find a flunky sitting there everyone would go and do tapu and go away so bark is doing tapu and go away one channel big network has got out of uh, bark for the knowledgeable they know why they have got out of bark about 5 6 days back or 4 days back they have requested the data run come tomorrow so the data is not coming tomorrow but uh, everyone who is not in the room knows why they have gone out something called collocation new word i heard about collocation i don't know what that word means someone have to educate me but this is a stand alone co- uh, case in the process they allowed supper to bark and wet that you know trp scam white paper has not come or a trp scam happened two years back mm-hmm. now some government agencies have come and exonerated someone on paper we are not in the report in that fight on national tv that day mr galot is saying but there's fight happening between two channels again bark is dragged in so this measurement body is you know is, is like anyone like i told you anyone like go 
so you know no uh, nothing wrong with so the i know it's it's a difficult job but how do you handle it i mean uh, it's not easy it's everyone picking. coming and uh, you know uh, putting everything on you so you know no, what are, what exactly are you doing to very easy. salvage the situation very easy when it suits you you say you know when you want to answer you answer when you say go and ask the ceo i'm just a chairman here or you are <laughs> the operating team it's easy ways of getting out no but jokes apart jokes apart i think uh, there are certain so to be serious for a short while that i think there are certain steps which need to be taken to rectify the situation in terms of sample size in terms of uh, technology methodology these are long haul processes and uh, genuinely i think all of us who are involved want to make a difference and we should make a difference you know so cross media measurement in terms of quality of meters that today meters we have seen which can measure uh, which can be very cheap and large scale ramping up can happen so that you know this interference which happens in india it's not about uh, error levels reducing uh, mr sakuja will explain that just by putting more meters error levels will not reduce they are what they are but the interference will go away but that is time you know uh, but you is there any timeline like how much time because no, you know they, we've they been they hearing saw, about all no, of no, this no it's for not quite it's about it's a it's a board managed company their stakeholders each stakeholder when he sits on the board has his interest in mind also it's a very peculiar organization you know it's not because the stakeholder wants something done and then there's funding issues so it takes you can't any statistical survey of a country of this size can't be done in two months or three months or four months mm -hmm. so there are challenges and it's like a, a flying plane which you're trying to refuel in the middle so you know one fellow comes like i says you know fire the rocket at you from below so there's a hole which comes you start leaking the by the time you so you're thinking long term but every day you're finding one day landing page one day collocation something third new thing will come up then one fellow is reducing volume in uh, uh, which only i think muna will understand the joke which i'm cracking we lost in you know in uh, west bengal so the watermark is not picking up you know so all these kind of things are happening so so if you get if you get a peaceful runway you can take off but the enough snipers on the runway trying to pull you down so this is where the problem is it will take time okay at uh, least some are having fun it's even muna laughing others i don't understand <laughs> or not so uh, coming back the broadcast to broadcast in this room will laugh i thought garo was somewhere garo you run away in advance only iran away coming back to our uh, you know uh, topic about future agency you know uh, again uh, uh, in the morning session and otherwise also when in, during conversations we hear that you know margins are reducing profitability is going down uh, sam mentioned that now media agencies are not able to you know um, get people from im amdavad or you know big management institutes because the kind of packages that bigger consultancies are able to offer media companies are not able to offer so you know uh, how do you define profitability in in your business and how will uh, the future agency manage this issue i don't understand your question how will you define profitability profitability yeah, I mean, is, is very simple to define as you know uh, there so how will we manage profitability in the long run yeah considering that it's going down that that, that the margins are uh, shrinking i'm not sure margins are shrinking uh, again i'm known to be outspoken pk is sitting there he will endorse what i'm saying margins are not shrinking let him say margins are shrinking then i'll agree so uh, You or know, is this so, the picture you give out so i have never given that picture out <laughs> you global companies uh, you know it's embarrassing to say margin not drinking you see pick up the global balance sheets of all companies advertising companies and communication companies i think margins have been reasonably steady what sam is saying is bang on the talent is not coming in because that talent is being we are being outpriced so it's not about so there are two different things that uh, we, our margins are shrinking i so, uh, by margin i mean that you know margin at which you uh, get a no. new client no no so so our margins are not shrinking we are robust the advertising industry they are robust what's happening is to the talent point which you made there are to be so many you know opportunities so many new avenues and those people are paying a lot of money which were not being paid before when we went to advertising mr balsara vikram all of us went to advertising the salary difference we considered there were no consulting companies and the salary differences were not much and some also our passion got into advertising today there is a huge difference between startups and whatever they're paying so the ecosystem has changed so there are two different points so how do point, we address it i don't think you need to address it today there are a lot of bright young people coming in you know it doesn't necessarily ma matter to be have an im degree i have firm you have the belief that you know there are a lot of bright kids who are not getting into the ims who will still come into advertising and people who are passionate about the business our business is a bit of left brain and right brain and you get talent there you know uh, you pick talent doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting an ima graduate the unilever does not attract too many people from the ims you know they do but they lose the best to the consultancies so it depends on how you pick and pick and choose you know you find on college college campuses which are graduate college campuses you getting very good talent do you think these consultancies have 
become a threat for media agencies? Not at all. The ability to do uh, the kind of work, the volumes which we transact, which became Mr. Balsara or our company's transact, and I'm, I'm not missing him out so that he doesn't feel left out. So, you know, uh, the volumes which we transact and the margins that we transact, I'm not saying profitability, at the margin transact, they and their grandfather can't do. You see, we are used to operating at large volumes, uh, at margins, uh, which they can just cannot uh, transact at. That will never go away from us. But a lot has changed in last few yes, years. No? There is this Absolutely. complete digital transformation. Yeah. So uh, if I talk of this agency of future, what, what do you think would be some pillars of transformation? Like what are the things that we must do now to keep pace with time? Tough question to answer. I'll give a philosophical answer that as long as you have passionate people in the business who enjoy the business, you know, who are not seeing it as a meal ticket, who like what they're doing, they will find solutions. The previous panel, the great discussion happening where, you know, they were talking of integration and they were talking of specialization. Both are right. There's no right answer. It is the state of the mind. But passionate people. I was quite impressed because all of them, you know, uh, including Shantanu, my colleague Shantanu, you know, very passionate. I've never seen this passion in offers, but I saw him operating, you know. So he was uh, extremely passionate. So I think as long as people believe in the power of advertising, look at our prime minister. He believes in the power of communication and advertising. So why not this business? This business is going to go very far. It's not going to go anywhere. It's here for many years to come. But you know, Whatever passion is just happen. one of the things. Yeah. But you know, if, if practically like at the execution level, if I have to ask you, what are some of the things that you must do to, you know, upgrade your agency and keep it? See, they're very uh, fashionable things to say. So I won't go that path. You know, these are buzzwords internationally. I keep saying the simple thing. You have, you know, for me, life as by now you've understood, you know, life is very simple. They're not very complicated in my life. So you, you have people who enjoy, you have decent leadership, and you create a good environment and a good culture. So because what is definitely happening in our business, that the passion and the fun versus the pain, and the pain has many uh, manifestations, whether it's long working hours, whether it's client pressure, whether it's insensitivity to handling people, it's combination. As long as you get the balance in the positive direction, all is good. If people enjoy the work they're putting out, they're proud of what they put out, you know, whatever it is. So, all that is, that is the final thing. The, everything else is a means to that end. The means could be in the, you know, uh, this whole business of integration, not integration, specialization, all those are all peripheral in my opinion. Uh, Shashi, sir. Sorry, I'm not going the way you wanted it to go, but. Uh, but that I, that I told everyone right in the beginning, that you have to learn the art of giving the answer without telling much that you want to. <laughs> so, uh, you know, what uh, you are, you know, kind of, an example of this, that this industry runs on relationship, you know, it's uh, the entire media industry, the re building relationship, networking is very, very important. But you know, the way things are changing now, everything is pragmatic, AI driven, etc. So how much important will it be in future, like this relationship building and having this client? See, uh, let me give you a philosophical answer, which I believe in strongly. Relationship means what, you know? So this is a word which I tell my children, because you know, telling people at the uh, office, they'll throw me out. But at least my son and my daughter are captive audience. So I said, listen, what is trust? What is relationship? Relationship is on trust, you know? Trust is in a combination of two factors. So if you have integrity, people believe in you. What does trust mean? Obvious answer is integrity, believe you. But that's not enough. Will you trust a donkey? Or why, why am I lying a donkey? Will you trust a fool? You will not. So you need capability. So if you have a combination of capability multiplied by integrity, that's what trust is, that's what builds relationship. So I think even AI, not AI, someone has to have trust. If those bots are being served, you'll never ever believe in, uh, you know, whether you trust this guy. So I don't agree with this, this relationship. I will not take a name, but a client turned around and said to me the other day, and I put pressure, and again, poor Shantanu gets the heat. Uh, he and me are doing a meeting on Monday with a client. He said, listen, we are getting into e-com and this and that, but today I specialize agencies on e-com. So I said, why are you asking me, telling me, I have nothing, I don't know this, I just barely know how to spell e-com. So why are you asking me? He said, the reason I'm asking you, because he, I've known you for so long, B, you manage a large part of our relationship, we've been worked together for very, very long. So you, when you come in, I'm sure that things will not go wrong. At least you ensure, so that is trust. Now, just because if you translate that to me in relationship, that, you know, I know the person for 20 years, that's not trust. Trust is maybe something I've done in the past as a pattern, then he knows that 
I may not understand AI, but I'll get people on the table who understand AI, or I'll get or other, all the fancy stuff you took. So all that will change. Whatever technology comes in, whatever comes in, someone has to translate into uh, that, you know. Someone knows it. You hire those people. You build the relationships. You, I may not know everything which is there to know. And I don't profess, and I don't want to know. There's only a small brain, only that much can go in. So why, you know, simple life is just filter out everything, whatever remains, remains. Have I answered your question or no? This you, you no, no, you have answered. And I think uh, it is that you, you've done little overdose of trust, and that's the reason you're pulled into Bach, you're pulled into MRUC, and... Uh, before, because I, I only have, I have zero minutes Latin left for, now. Latin for punishment, that's why I would put in every month, otherwise I I want to ask you my final question, when we do have, when will we get the next IRS? Till the time I value my peace of mind, no, Mr. Sakuja is the right man to answer. The topi is on his broad shoulders and his uh, bald head, mm -hmm. that, you know, he has to decide what, how do we get the next IRS going and how do we get fellows to fund. Problem is not about capability in this country, in every research or any organization. Problem is about managing stakeholders and putting money on the table. That's what the problem is. Thank you, Shashi, sir.